YouTube has changed their API, and it's the most awesome change that only you guys are going to be able to know about. Nobody's going to be using this for a long time. Basically, when you subscribe to people on YouTube, you have to actually go to YouTube to see if anybody's updated their videos. Uh, that's changed with the new API. You can now subscribe to people without having to go to YouTube to check if they've posted more videos. And I'll show you a little bit about how it works. Uh, I've made a small form. It's jimmyr.com slash api.php. And what it does is it gives you a link to the person's feed. Uh, let's use the wine cone as an example. Let's say you like the wine cone's video. You type the wine cone right here, and it'll automatically update the link. You can just click the feed. And now you have the feed of the wine cone's videos. How is this useful? Well, let me show you. Uh, a lot of people have feed aggregators. They're called uh, feed readers. For example, the program feed reader 2.9 or something. I can just click add new feed, and I paste this feed location, the URL I got, click next, click finish, and uh, it's going to generate a page here. It says YouTube videos. And when I click on it, it's going to give me the wine cones videos, see? And you don't have to use this program. This program is just one of many feed readers. There's many online feed readers. Even Google has a feed reader. Okay, let's go to google.com. And if you're on their front page and you log into your Gmail account or whatever Google account you have, you can go to iGoogle. Okay, iGoogle is another feed reader that tells you, that notifies you when your favorite sites have posted new content. For example, here's Slashdot. I can have Lifehacker. I have my blog here, I have how-to of the day, I have dictionary word of the day. It just has a whole bunch of stuff you can add uh, to notify you when your favorite sites add more content. To add a feed, for example, the wine cones feed here, I just go to add new stuff and add URL, and then I'm just going to paste the URL that I got from the form. Okay, I go to add, and it says loading, and it says the feed has been added. Then I can go back to iGoogle, and I can see the feed right here, from Geeky to Creepy, Cone Talk, TWK in LA. These are all the Wine Cones videos. I can click this button, edit settings, and even add items, up to nine items here. So now I have the Wine Cone videos on my Google front page. So it's really cool. Okay, for Firefox, I can click Control B, and I have uh, live bookmarks, what's called live bookmarks. To add a site to live bookmarks, all I have to do is, again, go to the feed, and at the top in Firefox, it says subscribe using live bookmarks. I can say, okay, subscribe now, and I'll call it uh, Wine Cone Videos, and I'll click OK. And now I have a folder right here where it says Bookmarks Toolbar Folder called Wine Codes Video with all the videos the Wine Cone has made recently, the last 50 videos, so it's pretty cool. There's all kinds of aggregators, there's blog lines, net vibes, there's an, tons and tons of servi services to subscribe to RSS feeds. This is just a few of them that are the most popular. Anyways, thanks for listening.